The gas stove is a popular kitchen appliance in this modern world. Its quick heating response and simple temperature adjustment is helping you to make your cooking easy and fast. In this video, we are explaining the complete working of a gas stove. If you are first time on this channel, please subscribe our channel for more videos about technical doubts. LPG is the fuel we use with gas stoves. Gas is stored in a cylinder with highly compressed pressure. If you connect a pipe directly from gas cylinder to the gas stove, gas will come to the stove with high pressure. Here is the importance of a gas regulator. Gas regulator has mainly two functions. Regulate the gas flow and on and off the cylinder. When you rotate the knob to on position, it pushes the cylinder valve pin and gas start flow out from the cylinder. This gas flow to the gas stove through the diaphragm chamber. Because of gas high pressure, it pushes up the diaphragm. Diaphragm pulls the lever up and stops the gas flow. When you start using gas stove, gas move from regulator diaphragm chamber. So chamber inside pressure become less and diaphragm comes down. That time gas pushes up the lever other side and starts flowing to the chamber again. This feature of gas regulator helps to control the high pressure gas flow to the stove. Gas stoves are mainly two types. Manual ignition gas stove and auto ignition gas stove. Manual ignition gas stoves need a gas lighter to ignite the burner manually. Gas lighter produces a small electric spark to ignite the gas stove with the help of piezoelectric effect. When you are pressing the lighter knob, it presses the hammer and spring assembly. Here hammering rod alignment is not straight, so when you are pressing the lighter knob, rod head touches and holds on plastic case barrier. Because of the inner spring's high tension, rod slipped from the barrier and hit on the piezoelectric assembly with high force. Main parts of piezoelectric assembly is piezoelectric crystal. It can produce electricity when a mechanical force apply on it. When hammering force apply on the impact pad, the crystal generates a high voltage. Because of this high voltage, a spark generates on the ignition head. This spark can ignite the gas and produce flame on the burner top. You can control this flame low and high by rotating the control knob. Here you can see when you rotate the knob left, flame becomes low and when knob and middle flame is high, and again rotate the knob to right, flame become low again and off. Let's look how this control knob works. The gas flow from the regulator to gas stove through the hose connected between gas stove and regulator. This gas reach to on off knob through the steel pipe of gas stove. Here you can see a valve inside of the rotating knob. It has two holes one is big and one is small. Big hole for high flame and small hole for low flame. If there was no valve, gas would flow to the burner without any control. Valve block this gas flow when the knob is in the off position. When we rotate the knobs to the left, valve big hole reaches the upper hole. So gas starts to flow to the burner and makes high flame. When you rotate the knob to the left again, this hole partially closes and it makes a small amount of gas flow in medium flame. When move the knob completely left, the small hole reaches to upper hole. The amount of gas flow becomes very small. That makes a low flame. You can make medium flame when you rotate the knob to the right also. Because that time also hole closes partially and makes a medium flame. This gas flows to the burner through a mixing tube with high velocity. Mixing tube structure is important here. You can see a big hole both side of mixing tube. But gas is not leaking through that hole. We need to mix oxygen with gas then only it burns properly and produce high temperature. Nozzle hole size is important here. When gas flows out through this small hole with high pressure, its velocity increases. Because of this high velocity, its static pressure decreases. Air always flows from high pressure areas to low pressure areas. So outside air keeps flowing inside and mixes with gas until the gas flow stops. Because of this air movement gas never leaks out through those holes. This oxygen gas mixture reaches the burner top and flows out through the burner holes. When you ignite this gas, you can get a blue flame with a high temperature. If you like this video, please comment your valuable opinion and subscribe our channel for more videos.